Hey guys, it's Marcus here from Static Cling with an alternate and improved workflow for getting the most out of Optic and having it synergized nicely with Reason's built-in mixer. Since release, one of my most frequently asked questions has been, how can I see the effects of the mix channel, such as you know filtering, EQ, compression, etc., uh, within Optic? Let's head to the back of the rack and I'll break it down for you. If we grab the audio directly from Europa and processed it, that's obviously going to be pre-mix channel. If we try to use these parallel outs, they are pre-out, as it says here, and that means it doesn't actually go through the entire mix channel. It's just a basically splitting off of exactly what's coming into this input before any effects have been applied. We could use direct out. Direct out does, in fact, have all the mix channel effects applied. However, as it says here, this breaks the internal mixer routing, which creates a whole bunch of headaches and, and is not generally a, a good workflow now that, you know, everything's based around this mixer up here. The best workflow I've found is using something called an output bus. If we right click this mix channel and go to route to new output bus, it creates this specialized mix channel down here. An output bus is basically a mix channel of mix channels. So any number of mix channels can feed into this output bus or other output buses. So we'll drag this up here above optic. As you can see now, the audio output of this Europa 1 mix channel is routed to bus 1, uh, and bus 1 is routed to the master section. So we're still maintaining our you know, automatic chain of, of wiring, and we can hear it. It's still working. Excellent. So let's take this output bus. It has kind of a lead, harmonically rich sound. We'll just call this uh, our leads output bus. So while this is sending audio to the master section and maintaining our, our flow of audio into our headphones, we're not actually sending any audio to Optic yet. Uh, in order to do that, we are going to go ahead and use this parallel output from the output bus. So we'll grab that and bring it down here. Um, something I want to note, this entire section, including the parallel outs, comes after mix channel processing has been applied. So EQing on this track, if I you know turn this knob or whatever, is going to be sending that process audio out to this guy. However, if I apply any EQing or effects to the output bus itself, this parallel jack will not see them for the same exact reasons that this one wouldn't have caught its EQ changes. Um, I hope that makes sense. But basically, now that we have things routed this way, we can flip around to the front and play some music. expected and that's really all there is to it i know that's pretty quick paced so if you have any questions comments or concerns you can reach out at the email below